God bless you. Thank you for listening this week. We are Bunny Grace Church, and I am Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I am the pastor of the church. For prayer or information about our ministry, you may email me at abundant.grace at att.net. Our message this week is titled, The Truth. I will be reading from 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 4. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables. My beloved, this is the last of 11 occurrences of the truth in Paul's two letters to Timothy. He was not writing about the importance of being truthful in general, but about a specific body of factual information concerning Jesus Christ and his vital importance. Therefore, the truth was a very important theme in both of Paul's letters to this young pastor and by implication to all God's called pastors. Paul first speaks of the knowledge of the truth required for salvation in 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 4, and then of his own teaching as the truth of Christ in 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 7, then of the church of the living God as the pillar and ground of the truth in 1 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 15, and of Christians as those who believe and know the truth in 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 3. Paul stresses the importance of studying the Bible as the word of truth. You can read that in 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15. And also that true repentance requires the acknowledging of the truth. You can read that in 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 25. Paul also warns of false and covetous teachers who are destitute of the truth in 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 5. And who therefore can concerning the truth, hath erred. You can read that in 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 18. There will even be false prophets who resist the truth and are reprobate concerning the truth. You can read that in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 8. So my beloved, as a result of the teachings of these false teachers, there will be many so-called seekers of truth who are ever learning, yet who seem never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. You can read that in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 7. The reason they never find the truth is because they turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables. That's 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 4. The fact is, my beloved, that Jesus said, I am the truth, and also that thy word is truth. And you can read that in John 14 verse 6 and John 17 verse 17. For any who would say with Pilate, the governor, of course, you know, that condemned Jesus, what is truth? You can read that in John chapter 18, verse 38. There is the definite answer. People will not listen to the truth. So to you, what is truth? Let us pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, we pray that you continue to reveal the truth to us. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. As we read and study your word, as we seek you in prayer, open our spiritual minds, our hearts, and our souls to the truth of the Word of God. Be with us, lead us, and guide us, and give us the strength to stand firm in times of doubt and uncertainty. Thank you, Father, for your blessings today as we pray in unity in the name of your Son, our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory, power, and majesty now and forever. Amen. My beloved, have a blessed, prosperous, and wonderful week in Jesus.